Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's full stun guide called Future of Mid which wants you to own and drive the 1981 BMW M1 to complete all the challenges with. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. So this is the car in question, the 1981 BMW M1 and it will set you back well over half a million credits if you buy it from the auto show or you may be able to pick one up a little cheaper in the auction house although I imagine there may be a queue for some of them. Now I also want to mention I've not created a tune for this video and I'll show you why in a minute. Now the first challenge here simply wants you to win a road race so to do this we're going to head over to the Arch of Mulehay circuit which is of course where I have a race set up for you guys to use. It's one lap with no AI driver tars, the share code is there on your screen now. And it's just a simple race with without any sort of op opponents or competition. So that's why it's fine just to leave your car stock. It will take you just over about a minute and a half in a stock car, but it's super easy to complete. No real challenge there. Now, the next one here wants you to spend 20,000 credits on upgrades, which, of, of course, is why I didn't create a tune. Now, the easiest way to spend this money is just to do an engine swap. So anything after the very first one will cost you more than 20,000 credits. Or you can do what I did, spend a bit more time and sort of money into modifying it for this final challenge, which wants you to earn three stars at speed traps. Now, again, this is super easy. And the one that I picked is basically an easy way of getting three stars in one run, even though you're probably thinking it's real wheel drive and tons of power. It doesn't matter. So I went for the Paso Inferior speed trap. Now, three stars on here is only 100. 105 mile an hour but if you get a decent enough run up it should be no challenge at all like i said it doesn't really matter that it's rear wheel drive you could have spent money on upgrades to make it all wheel drive if you really want it's entirely down to yourself i just spent the money on sort of engine modifications suspension and stuff not enough road tune at all but that doesn't matter as you saw there we smashed a three star target now the good thing about this challenge is you can get two stars on one run and then do another run to get your final star it really doesn't make a big difference as long as you overall get three stars uh, that will be the final challenge can complete now hopefully this guide has helped you out but of course if you're struggling with anything then please do let me know down below in the comments i'll be more than happy to help you guys out also don't forget to stick around for this week's photo challenge guide coming up shortly in a minute but like i said i hope this helped if you did and you're new to the channel i'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe and dropping a like massively helps me out as well but apart from that folks i want to thank you very much for watching make sure you stay safe and take care